Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Nathan Sandberg. I'm here for another Google tip. Today's Google tip, sharing documents in Google Docs. Welcome back everybody for another quick uh, Google tip. Remember today's on sharing documents within Google Docs. So I have a Google Doc here that I have uh, created and because I don't want to make any changes to the sharing properties on this, I'm actually going to create a copy of this document. And in order to create a copy, I'm going to come up here to File and click Make a Copy. And it's going to ask me where I want to save the copy and if I want to change its name. So I'm just going to leave this uh, the same copy of Teacher Link, pa link Page Template, excuse me, and I'm going to save it in my drive and I'm going to press OK. So it's making the copy and it's opening the copy uh, in another browser window. Um, at this point in time, I'm going to go ahead and share this document with the people I want to share it with. And in order to do so, I'm going to come right up here to the right hand side. There's a big blue button says share and you can see there's a padlock on there. And with the padlock, the padlock means private only to me. So nobody can access this document unless you give them permission. So I'm going to go ahead and click share here. And the fastest way I find it to be able to share a document with people is to just click right here where it says get shareable link. And I'm going to click that and it's going to open up this new window and it's going to ask me some questions. Do I want uh, it comes default. It says anyone at Ontario School District with the link can view. Now you can change those options. You can set it, no, I just want specific people. Or you can say anyone at your organization can edit. Anyone at your organization can comment. Or anyone can view. Um, for this purpose, I want people to be able to access this information, but I don't want them to be able to edit any of the information. So I'm going to set anyone can, with this link can view. And I'm going to go ahead and press copy link. And it's copied it to my clipboard. At this point in time, I will take that URL and I will open up an email and I will send it to the individuals that need that, uh, need that link and um, I will share it that way. Um, at this point in time, people will be able to access that URL and they'll be able to access the information that I am constantly changing in that document without further need for me to consistently um, share the document every time I make a change. So they, they have that information and it's always up to date. 